The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January 12, 1973, in Bombay, India. Srimad Bhagavatam, Pancham Skandha, Hip Kanto. There are twelve kind cantos, skandhas, or division of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam Amalam Puranam Jas Vaishnavanam Priyam. <laughs> Srimad Bhagavatam is Amalam Puranam. Amala means spotless. Uh, there are eighteen Puranas. Six Puranas for the sattvic people, those who are in the modes of goodness. There are three qualities of the material nature. Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. The living entities are the Jivatma. They are in this material world for sense gratification. Anyone, beginning from Lord Brahma down to the small ant or microscopic insect. Everyone, every living entity has come here in this material world for gratifying their senses. The Premi Vibhartha, a authorized book by one of the disciples of Lord Chaitanya, he says, it is in Bengali. Krishna bhuliya jeev bhoga vancha kare, pasete maya kare japotiya dhare. As soon as we desire to enjoy, because constitutionally we are not enjoyer, we are enjoyed. We are not predominated, but we are predominated. That is our position. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jiver Saru Phai Nitta Krishna Das. Our real position is to remain eternal servant of Krishna. This is our real position. But because we have got little independence, because we are part and parcel of Krishna, Krishna is supremely independent. Savigya Sarat, description of Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Janmat dasya jata annayat itaratascha arthesu avigya sarat. Sarat means fully independent. Krishna is fully independent. But because we are part and parcel of Krishna, we are minutely possessing almost, not all, all the qualities of Krishna in proportionately in minute quantity. Oh. <coughs> Just like the particle of gold is also gold. That is nothing else but gold. But the value of that particle is different from the gold mine. Our relationship with Krishna is like that. Uh, Krishna is just like the gold mine. And I am you just like gold earring. This gold earring or gold uh, fingering 
or any golden ornament. There is gold undoubtedly, but it's not as big as the gold mine. That is the difference between God and ourselves. That is the difference. Qualitatively, we are one, being part and parcel of the Supreme Absolute Truth. But quantitatively, we are different. Therefore, simultaneously, we are one and different. This is called achinta bheda tattva. Achinta, we cannot conceive in our present status of life that one thing can be equal and different from another. But if we think over it little uh, soberly, we can understand. This is the example. Mamai vāṁsa jīva bhūta jīva loka sanāta. So, āṁsa, particle, that is also sanātana. Not that, as the Mayavadi philosophers say, that because we are now in, under the illusion, therefore we are thinking as different. Otherwise, God and we are the same. This Vaishnava philosophy, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, Achinta Vedavet Tattva, there are other Vaishnava philosophers also, Vishuddha Daita, Daita Daita, Adaita, like that. So many philosophies are there. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the latest Acharya, who appeared five thousand years ago, uh, five hundred years ago, I'm sorry, he preached this Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Means that Jiva, simultaneously one and different, one in quality and different in quantity. This is very reasonable. Uh, and it is confirmed in the Vedas, Upanishad. Just like in Katho Upanishad, it is said, Nitya Nityanam Chetana Chetananam Eka Bhunam Vidadati Kamam. So, Krishna is the supreme nitya, itana, and we are also in us. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mamai Vamsa Jeeva Bhuta, Jeeva Loka Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. We are itana, and Krishna is also itana. That is qualitatively one. Krishna is Chetana, living force. We are also living force. So in that way, we are one in quality. But His living force and our living force different in quality. His creative power, my creative power, your creative power, they are different. You can create a few skyscraper buildings, but Krishna has created millions and trillions of universes. Just say ka nishasita kala mathavalamma jivanti loma viloja jagadanda natha. Just sa prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti. Jagadanda koti. We are simply experiencing one jagadanda or universe. But there are Jagadanda Koti, there are millions and trillions of universes. Ekaṁśena sthito jagat atva bahu naitena kingyatena tavārjuna viṣṭabhya aham idaṁ kṛṣṭam ekaṁśena sthito jagat. Krishna, when he was inquired about his opulence, about his potencies, vibhūti, Krishna explained, that I am like this, I am like this, I am like this. But he concluded that how much I shall describe, try to understand this. 
अथवा बहु नहीं तेना किंग गया तेना तबार जो विश्चाब्या अहम इदाम कृष्णाम एकांशीन अस्तित्व जगह दिस होल मैटेरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन इज मेंटेड बाय वन ऑफ माय प्लेनरी प्रोसन परमात्मा दैट इज आल्सो कंफर्म्ड इन द ब्रह्म संगीता एक पशु रचयतम जगदंड कोटि जत शक्ति रस्ति जगदंड चया जधंत अन्नांतरस्थ परमाणु चयांतरस्थ गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तवांग भजा कृष्णा बाई वन प्लेनरी पोर्शन एज परमात्मा द एब्सुलूट ट्रूथ इज रियलाइज इन थ्री वे ब्रह्म परमात्मा एंड भगवान वदंती तत्तविदस्तम जद ज्ञानम अदयम ब्रह्मेति परमात्मे भगवानी शब्द थी सो कृष्णा बाई इज परमात्मा फीचर ही इज ऑल परवेरिंग ही इज इन ऑल यूनिवर्सेस ही इज ऑल एवरीवेयर इन द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल लिविंग एंटिटी ईश्वर परम ईश्वर सर्वभूता हृदय से अर्जुन तिष्ठति एंड ही इज ऑल्सो विद इन दटॉम अंडातर संग परमाचयांतर अनोरणीयांग महतो महिया दिस इज कृष्ण सो वन हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण परफेक्टली सो फॉर प्रिलिमिनरी स्टडी ऑफ कृष्ण देर इज भगवद गीता हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण एंड नेक्स्ट भगवद गीता इज दी ए बी सी डी प्राइमरी एंट्रांस टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ दिस इज ए बी सी डी बट पीपल आर सो फॉलोन दैट दे कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इवन ए बी सी डी वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ becoming graduate or post graduate ah then these age people are so fallen ah these mahabharat mahabharat was given by basdev for the less intelligent class of men stri shudra dijabandhuna troina shruti gochara shruti means beda basdev considered that three omen shudra the fourth class man uh, three shudra dijabandhana dijabandhu means those who are born in higher class society brahmana kshatriya vaishya but they are not qualified they are simply proud of getting birth in higher families they are called dijabandhu they are equal to omen and shudra tri shudra dejbandhu na troi na shuti gochara troi means the vedas karma kand gyan kand upasana kand there are three methods in understanding vedas and their language their process is very difficult therefore bas de considere the immediate inauguration of kaliju because bas de appeared at the end of the aparuju so before writing these vedas bas de by bas de there was no written scripture that were these vedas are called shrutis people learn it simply by hearing shruti a ah. srotam srotriyam tad vigyana tad vigyanartham sa guru me eva vigache srotriyam brahmanistham a ah. srotriyam means the guru must be expert who has heard from his bona fide spiritual master that srotriyam not so krom so krom means generation by seminar and sutram 
generation by hearing from the bona fide spiritual master. So it is all Brahmanist. After hearing, one must be firmly fixed up in Brahma Gyan, Brahmanistham. Ah, this is called Sotriya. So, Dijabandhu means uh, who has not perfected his knowledge by hearing from the bona fide souls. He is called Dijabandhu. And the Sudras have no facility, neither the Oman has got the facility to go to the uh, Gurukul and become a Brahmachari and remain there and learn the Vedic literature because uh, omen were not allowed. Neither could follow. Uh, <coughs> it is not discrimination. It is actual fact by nature. Uh, there may be some exception, but by nature it is so fixed up. So for them, this Mahan, Mahabharat, greater history, or history of greater India, Mahabharat, this Bharat, Bharat means this planet, not this small land now we are occupying. No, this whole planet is called Bharat Varsha. Uh, since the time of Maharaj Bharat, he was the emperor of the whole world. Formerly, we understand from history that the king of Hastinapur uh, was the emperor of the whole world. Up to Maharaj Parikhet, five thousand years ago. After that, it became separated on account of depreciation of the Vedic culture. They could not control. Just like we could not control Pakistan, they have gone up. Pakistan, twenty years ago, it was India. But they have left you, the Muslims, they left you, because you could not control them. That is your fault. Ah. And the fault is depreciation of the Vedic culture. Ah. In the Vedic culture, there is no such thing that once one has become fallen, he cannot be reclaimed. He can be reclaimed. It doesn't matter how that fallen he is. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Manghi patho vipasritya jepishu papajonayo. Papajoni. Uh, according to Vedic culture, the lower class of people, lower class of people means one who cannot be educated to the Vedic culture. He is called lower class. Uh, <coughs> Otherwise, the Vedic culture is open for everyone. So, Krishna says, Manghipatha Vapasritya Jepishu Papajuna. Never mind, Papajuni. He can be claimed. Sriya Sudra Tatha Vaisha Sri Janti Parangati. So suppose these Mohammedans or others in India, the Mohammedans, these Mohammedans did not come from any other part of the world. They were lower class. And they, after Aurangzeb's propaganda of Jizya tax, some of them or more of them, they became Muslims. This is the historical fact. So why they were not reclaimed again? Reclaimed. And of course, some of the uh, sannyasis, they tried to reclaim, but that was not the proper way. Therefore it was failure. Uh, the proper way of reclaiming all the fallen souls by Krishna consciousness movement, Krishna says, Manghi partho vipasritya. 
one has to be educated to take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Mang hi path be passit. Not otherwise. You cannot uh, propagate Shuddhi movement by otherwise. You have to reclaim everyone to the Vedic platform by making him Vaishnav. Because when one becomes Vaishnav, he becomes transcendental. That is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Mang hipatha. Man chabya vicharini bhakti jogina ja sevati. Abya vicharini bhakti jogina. Bhakti yoga, the process of devotional service. If one is engaged, abya vicharini, without any adulteration. Real bhakti yoga means anna vilasita sunnam. Jnana karma dana vṛtam anukullena krishnānu silanam bhakti uttama. This is real bhakti. Uh, there cannot be any motive behind bhakti yoga. Annavilāsita sunnam and jnana karma dana vṛtam and transcendental to the position of philosophical speculation and fruitive activities. Jnana karma is anabritam. Anukullena Krishna anusilanam. Just simply to serve Krishna favorably. That is bhakti. So this bhakti is called abhyavicharini bhakti. Without any adulteration. Without any mutilation. Perfect bhakti. So by that bhakti, Mancha ja bhyavicharini bhakti yogena sevate sagunana samutita etana brahma bhuyaya kalpati. That person who is engaged in a pure devotional service, he transcends all the qualities of material nature. Our defect is, just like I have already explained, that we are gold because we are part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is the big goal, we are simply a small particle of gold. That is the difference. But gold is always value, maybe a small particle or big. So our position is transcendental. Our position is not material. But we have been captured by the material nature because we wanted to disobey the orders of Krishna. Krishna bhuliya jiva bhogavan chan. And because we disobeyed or we did not like to serve Krishna, therefore we have been sent into this material world. Icha desa samutthina sarge janti parantava. Icha. Now why shall I serve Krishna? Why shall I not become Krishna? Let me become God. That is still going on. Ah, even big, big advanced spiritualists, sannyasi, they are thinking that ah, I am Krishna. I am Krishna. Why shall I ah, go to serve Krishna? This is slave mentality. Just become Krishna. I am Krishna. Now I am in Maya. I am not Krishna, but as soon as my Maya is over, then I become Krishna. Then the question is, if you are Krishna, why Maya covered it? Then Maya is greater than Krishna. But these questions they cannot answer. So why you have been fallen? No, the real explanation is that because we are little Krishna, just like the father and the little child. If there is fight, the father may come out victorious, the child may become overwhelmed. Similarly, we are also Krishna, a small particle of Krishna, but somehow or other when we come in touch with this material world, we contact 
either of the three modes of material nature, satagon, rajagon, tamagon. And according to our association with the particular type of nature, we get a different type of body. Karanam guna sangha yasya sadasad janma jonishu. Why there are different types of living entities, different types of bodies? That is an explain in the Bhagavad Gita. Karanam, the cause, the reason is guna sangha asya. Guna <coughs> sangha. So we are gold, but some gold has fallen in the mud, some gold has fallen in the water, some gold has fallen on the grass. These are examples. They are very much nicely explained in the Vedic literature. Uh, sometimes the living entity is considered as the spark of fire. You have seen the sparks of fire. So the fire, original fire, is never covered by maya or darkness. But the small particle of fire, which are called sparks, they, as soon as come out of the fire, uh, they, extin- they are extinguished. No more, sp- I mean, say sparking. Uh, uh, so this is our position. Although we are part and parcel of Krishna, Sanatam, eternal, uh, mana sasthani indriyani prakitisthani karasati, because on account of our material mind, material mind means the mind is absorbed in the thought of enjoying this material world. This is the beginning of our material disease. Mana uh, sasthani indriyani. Then according to the mind, we develop different senses and we are trying to enjoy this material world in different type of body. Uh, that is our material disease. Manasasthani indriyani pakitisthani karasati. Therefore, the whole Vedic literature is meant for reminding us about our original position. That is explained in the Chaitanya Chaita Amrita. Krishna, ah, Anadi Bohimog Jeev Krishna Bhuli Gela. We have forgotten Krishna. Anadi. Anadi means we do not know when we did forget. But we have forgot our relations. Anadi Bohimog Jeev Krishna Bhuli. Atay Krishna Ved Purana Kuli. These Vedas and the Puranas, they are meant for reminding us, uh, to give us information that you are not this material body. You are not Indian, you are not American, you are not Brahmana, you are not Sudra. You are eternally part and parcel of Krishna. So your business is to serve Krishna. This is the purpose of whole Vedic literature. Vedishta sarvai ahameva vedyam. So, the Bhagavad Gita is giving us directly information about our relationship with Krishna. Krishna personally giving instruction. So what is his position and what is our position? What is our relationship with him and what is the ultimate goal of life? Uh, these are called in Sanskrit language Sammandha Abhideha Prayajan. Sammandha means we must know what is our relationship with God, Krishna. That is called Sammandha. Everyone is speaking about God. That is human nature. Any civilized form of human society has some sort of religious principle to understand God. That is a fact. So, in the human form of life, this is the main question. This is called Brahma Jignasa. What is my relationship with God? What I am? 
Why I am suffering this material world? Is there any solution? This is the business of human form of life. Uh, not to imitate the animals, how to eat nicely, how to live nicely, how to have sexual intercourse nicely, and how to defend. These are animal propensities. Ahara nidra bhaya maithanancha samanna metat pasubhina rana. The animals are also doing the same business, whole day and night. Therefore Bhagavad says, nāyaṁ deha deha bhājaṁ ni loke kastāna kāmāṁ arahati vīr bhujāṁ ji. This human form of life is not meant for to work so hard like hogs and dogs, simply for sense gratification. The aim is only sense gratification. In the modern civilization, they have no other aim. They do not know what is God, what is my relationship with God, what is the ultimate goal of life, how shall I work in this material world. These questions are rejected. It is very abominable condition of the human society. Therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is very important to enlivening the whole human society to its real position, constitutional position. Jivet sarupa nitta krishna dhar, mami vāṁsa jīva bhūta jīva lūpi sanātha, mana sasthāni indrāni prakṛtisthāni kasa. So, long, long ago, uh, there was an atheist king, Hiranna Kosipu. Hiranna Kosipu. And his son happened to be a Vaishnava, Prahlad. Uh, so Prahlad, from the beginning of his life, he was a Vaishnava, although born of an atheist father, Hiranna Kosipu. Uh, so we shall try to explain the uh, life of Prahlad Maharaj uh, while reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam, there are twelve cantos out of which we are just trying to explain in the fifth canto. Uh, <coughs> fifth can not, not fifth canto, seventh canto, fifth chapter, Prahlad Maharaj's Upakhyan. So Prahlad Maharaj, his father Hiranyakasipu, was so powerful king that he became by force, demonic force, he became practically the ruler of the all planets. There are different planetary systems within this universe. Ah. So this demon Hiranyakasipu, ah, somewhere or other, he achieved a great prowess and he conquered over all the planets. Even the demigods, they are under the subjugation of Hiranyakasipu. So his son, Pralha, from the very beginning of his life, because he got instruction from Narad Muni within the belly of his mother, this is the story. Uh, when the demigods conquered over the Hiranya uh, they captured his wife, Payadhu. At that time, the wife of Hiranya was pregnant, and Prahlad Maharaj was there. So because the woman was pregnant, the demigods were taking her away. In the, on the way, Narad Mahamuni met the demigod Indra. So he inquired, what you are doing? You are dragging a woman? Ah, oh, this is not good. So they explained that we have nothing to do with this woman because within the womb of this woman there is a son of Hiranyakosipu. He is also demon. Therefore, as soon as she gives birth to the child, we shall kill him. This is our problem. 
Nargumuni said, no, this child is not demon. This child is a great devotee, Mahabhagava. So you cannot do that. So they accepted the word of Narad Muni and they offer obeisance. So the here is a Vaishnava. This is Demigod. Uh, although they were carrying out, thinking of the child as a demon, but when they heard from Narada Muni that this child is not a demon, he is a great devotee, immediately they offered respect and they circumvulated the mother of Prahlad Maharaj and they went away. And the lady was taking care of Narada Muni. And Narada Muni instructed the mother because as soon as you meet some saintly person, his business is to instruct you about spiritual matter. So Hiranyakashipu's wife was situated in the house, in the ashram of Narada Muni, and she wanted protection that until my husband comes back, kindly give me protection so that I, my child may not take birth. The Narada Muni gave her benediction, yes, even it is mature, unless your husband comes back, he will not deliver the child. So he instructed. And the instruction was so powerful, spiritual instruction, is not conditioned by the material nature. Ahui tuki aprati hata. That is stated in the Srimad Bhagavad. Sabai Pungsang Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhokhaji Ahui Tuki Aprati Hata Jayatma Samprasidati. This instruction of bhakti is so powerful that even a child can receive it in any condition of life. We have seen when our Sankirtan is performed. Especially the children, they immediately imitate because they cannot vibrate a small children, but they give claps. Uh, the Sankirtan movement is so perfect that there is no question of any material condition. In any condition, uh, Krishna consciousness can be aroused, uh, provided it is in touch with a Krishna conscious bona fide spiritual master. <coughs> so this child, Prahlad Maharaj, from in the womb of his mother, he learned spiritual instruction and he became Krishna conscious. Therefore from his birth he was chanting this Hare Krishna mantra and his father was very, very much unhappy. Uh, what kind of child is born? He is Krishna conscious. Uh, because he is, uh, he was very much against Vishnu. Because Lord Vishnu killed his brother, Hiranyaka. So Hiranyaka Sipu always considered Vishnu as the enemy. Uh, so he did not like that his son, Prahlad Maharaj, should become a Vaishnava. Vaishnava means Vishnu asya devata iti Vaishnava. One who has taken, accepted Lord Vishnu. Ah, that is the Vedic instruction to take shelter of Lord Vishnu. Ah, Om tad Vishnu paramam padam sadapasanti suraya. This is Rig mantra, Rig Ved mantra. Vishnu paramam padam. Those who are Suraya, Suri, or Devata, uh, they are always aiming at the lotus feet of Vishnu. Uh, that Vishnu Paramampadam, that is the highest perfection of life. Other demigods, they are not our goal of life. That is also condemned in the Bhagavad Gita. Kamastaste hitagyana jajante anna devata. Anna devata. Who are the worshippers of the anna devata? Other demigods. 
those who are lost of their senses, kamas teste hitok jyana. These are the statements. In the Bhagavad also it is said, nate vidu sartha dating hi Vishnu. People generally they do not know that their goal of life should be uh, to take shelter of Vishnu. Vishnu Tattva and Krishna Tattva, the same thing. Uh, Ramadi Muttishu, Kala Niyame Natishthan, Nana Vara, uh, Nana Vatara Makarat Bhuvane Shukintu, Krishna Sayam Samabhavat Parama Pumanaju, Govindam Madhi Purisam Tamaham Bhajaham. So our aim of life should be how to understand Vishnu Tattva, Krishna. Krishna is the origin of Vishnu Tattva. Matta Parataram Nanat Kinchi Jasti Dhananjaya. He is the origin. Janmadasya Jataha. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. Matta Sarvam Prabhattate. These are things. Aham Adirhi Devana. Maharshi Ram Chasattva. These are there. So, Pallad Maharaj, by the grace of Naradamani, he became a great devotee and from the beginning of his life. This is another uh, advantage. If you become a devotee of the Lord, then your next life is guaranteed as human being. Uh, Yoga Bhrashta Sanjayate, Suchinang Simatang Gehe, Yoga Bhrashta Sanjayate. One who is a devotee but could not finish the devotional function in one life, he is given chance, another, another chance to take birth in a very good family. Good family means Suchinang Simatang Gehe either in the family of a very highly elevated Brahmin, Suchinang, or Srimatang, or very rich family. Ah. Brahman or Vaishya family, or Chatriya family. So either Brahman family or Chatriya family or Vaishya family, it doesn't matter, a human being. Ah. So yoga Vrasa sanjayate let us begin our life in Krishna consciousness, in this life. It doesn't matter if we cannot finish. Uh, but whatever we can finish, that is our eternal asset. Salpam api yasya dharma satrayate mahato bhaya. Even if we slightly touch only Krishna consciousness, uh, then mahato bhaya. Just like Ajami, you are saved. So these are the instructions of Vedic literature, especially in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam, in the Bhagavatam it is derived from the word Bhagavat Sabda. Bhagavat Sabda means Bhagavan, and Bhagavata means those who are in connection with Bhagavat. Bhagavan. So this Simada Bhagavata means it is in connection with the Supreme Lord and his devotee. A devotee is called Bhagavata. And the book about Bhagavan, that is also Bhagavata. There are two kinds of Bhagavata. The living Bhagavata is the devotee. And the representation Bhagavata is this Bhagavata Bantha. There is no difference. Absolute means there is no difference. Krishna is absolute. Therefore, either this Grantha Bhagavata or the devotee Bhagavata or Krishna, they are all one. That is absolute conception. Adda again, ah, we should not distinguish a devotee from Bhagavan. We shall not distinguish Bhagavatam from Bhagavan. When we read Bhagavad Gita, practically every one of us read, we should not think that Bhagavad Gita is different from Krishna. 
Bhagavad Gita is as good as Krishna. It is not ordinary book. Ordinary book is different from the author. But this Bhagavad Gita is Bhagavan himself. Atasya Krishna namadi namhavet rayam indriya. Sevan mukhi hi jivhado samiva spuratada. Nama chintamani Krishna chaitanya rasavigraha. Purna suddha nitta mutta abhinatya nama nama. So Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam or Krishna's name, Krishna's form, Krishna's pastime, anything about Krishna, they are one. Abhinatya nama nama. Abhinatya. That is not separated. Therefore, by chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you directly contact with Krishna. Abhinatya nama namina. Krishna is the namina. And Hare Krishna mantra is his name. But they are abhinna. Otherwise, how this Hare Krishna moment is being so quickly appreciated all over the world. Because there is no difference between chanting of Hare Krishna mantra and meeting Krishna eye to eye, face to face. There is no difference. Simply one has to realize, the more you become purified by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, you see Krishna face to face. Uh, People are asking, can you show me God? You can see God. Simply prepare your eyes. Simply prepare your ears. You will, by hearing, Cheta Dattpana Mahajanam Bhava Mahadabhagnindi Pāpana. So this is a very scientific moment, authorized, practical. Uh, you chant Hare Krishna mantra and you realize that gradually you are advancing to meet Krishna face to face. That is possible. So, we have got ample literature. Not only is Bhagavad Gita, Asimad Bhagavatam, other, there are hundreds of literature, and we have already published about twenty books like this. So, we shall request all the life members, they have got our books. Those who are not life members, I would request them to become life members, and we give you more than your money, books, work. We want that everyone, every scholar, every thoughtful man should read these books, Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, we are, these books are very much welcome in the Western countries. I have got a report uh, just now. I have received from Los Angeles. The report is, that within the three days of Christmas holidays, we have sold one lakh worth of books within three days. So our books are being very much welcome in the Western countries, especially especially the Bhagavad Gita as it is. So this movement is very important movement. It is not a fanaticism. It is based on science, philosophy, and authority, and Vedic principles. And all the students, they are following strictly the Vedic principles. They do not indulge in illicit sex life, meat eating, intoxication, up to drinking of coffee, tea, and smoking. They have given up. This is Vedic principles. And they do not take part in gambling. And the regular chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, sixteen downs. In this way we are training. Not only we are training these young boys, but we are training their sons and children. We have got a very nice school in Dallas, Texas. From the very beginning they are being taught about Krishna consciousness, how to rise early in the morning, how to take part in the Mangalarutri, how to take prasadam, uh, then teaching, uh, they are learning Sanskrit and English especially, a little geography. 
mathematics. Uh, we have started school. So uh, do not take this moment very insignificantly. Try to understand this moment with all your intelligence. As Chaitanya Chaita Amrita author says, Chaitanya Dayara Katha Karoha Bicha. Bicha. Just put your judgment. Try to understand with logic and try to understand with philosophy, not as a fanatic. Bichar. Bichar kodile chitte pame chamotka. And if you rightly judge this moment, you will find it very sublime. So, we have got four branches now in India, out of 102 branches all over the world. But especially this moment is easier for the Indians because by birth they are imbibed with the Krishna consciousness idea. So I am struggling alone. I require many Indians to join and spread this moment all over the world. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.